Hey guys, this is Valen here with Valen Games. I'm ready to start talking you through the brand new Jon Snow King in the North event. Um, there are the uh, actual prize is given away through the King of the North event here, but that's actually not what we're going to be focusing on tonight. Tonight we're going to be focusing on the story campaign um, over in the legendary events Weirwood Tree. Uh, this will of course become um, available to everybody today, uh, depending on your time zone will determine exactly when. Um, now, as you can see, this works a lot like the Daenerys Targaryen event in that it starts with five story modes where you're going to get the character at a overpowered level and then you're going to work with your own version of him which you will get as a prize um, through easy, normal, and hard challenges. Now I've already gone through the first of the story modes and you guys are going to work through that one again with me and then through the remaining five for this video. Now, before we get in there, let's take a glance at his kit over here in the hearth. And if we scroll on over to him, we can start taking a look at what he's got so we can know what we're doing in the story mode. So, of course, we've got his main ability, Decisive Strike. This deals 150% offense damage to one adjacent enemy, plus extra damage equal to 30% of the target's missing health. So, bottom line is, any time he attacks an injured enemy, this is really going to give him an extra bit of a boost, and the more damaged that enemy is, the harder he's going to hit it. Um, I can't be certain, but I do suspect this is going to be nice against those high HP bosses. And it works very well with his second ability. Uh, when defeating an enemy, reset decisive strikes cooldown time and gain 50% bonus damage for one turn. So in other words, he's going to be able to use that special again and again if you put him in a situation where he keeps taking down enemies. So really using his, um, you know, soldiers to really soften the enemy up so that he can go take them out um, with that main ability is really going to go a long way in terms of defeating the enemy. And then finally, we've got his third one, which is all allies have one bonus movement and 10% bonus damage boost. So really, you're going to have the ability to get those soldiers around the map very nicely, very easily, and it's going to go a long way towards kicking their butts. So overall, it's a pretty nice kit. I'm well pleased with it add it to certain trait cards and you are really go uh, tactic cards rather and you are really going to have a fun time with this character so moving on into the story mode guys so let's just take a glance at what we're looking for in these battles so we're going to go into story one um, as always with these types of events, the first story level or two are probably going to be pretty easy, and then we're going to have a bit of a puzzle figuring out the last couple, I would imagine. Um, so as you can see, he's got some of these support soldiers, not really a whole lot to them, not even any special abilities. They are literally there to do a little bit of extra damage, maneuver around a little bit. Um, looking at the enemies, however, let's take a glance here. No abilities on the horsemen, which is pretty much all we're up against. So it's a pretty straightforward battle. Um, now, having looked at his kit, really, um, I don't think there's much of a way we can lose this battle. But if we want to be smart about it, we're going to soften up the enemy a little bit. So that he can get in there and slam them hard. And here we go. One of the nice things about this version of Jon Snow is he is a great sword as opposed to a fighter, which I personally much prefer. Um, and so he's going to have a bit of fun there. Uh, he's even going to hit them pretty hard on those counter strikes. So we've got the first row of horsemen softened up here. We're going to do a little bit more work just to make sure he gets to take some people out. And that's going to, of course, improve how he does everything here. All right, so let's move into this. I'm not going to use his main ability right now, 
Well, actually I will, not because I have to, but just so that you guys can see how it works. You'll see since he takes out that horse, he's gonna have that main ability ready to go um, on his next turn again, so he could take out that horse there. And it really doesn't matter that these guys are taking out all of our extra soldiers, because he's really just going to kick their butts on those counter strikes. Most of them are half dead at this point, other than the one who he's going to be able to kill with his main. And you could see exactly what I was talking about. You really see how that bonus damage really just starts to build there. Um, he didn't even have to use his special on that last horse. He was just able to slam him with the counter. All right, so moving on to story two, which as you can see, I have not beaten yet. We're gonna take a quick glance at our supporting units here. No special abilities to speak of. And same thing it looks like with the horses. So another pretty straightforward battle. Now, that being said, they've got quite a bit higher HP than our little level 1 bowman here. Yeah. And even more than Jon Snow himself. So we may want to be a little bit smart with this. I doubt that Jon is going to be able to take them out on a first shot here. Uh, what we're going to want to do, I think, is move him out of the way, at least at first and start softening these guys up with the bowmen. Because we really want John to be able to take them out with a strike or two so that he can keep hitting them hard with his main ability. I worry that if we engage right away, that won't happen. Um, and then we're going to be in some trouble. So I'm going to keep focusing on one of these guys at a time. John's main ability is up there right now. Probably should have positioned those bowmen better, but that's all right. Let's go in and start hitting them. I'm not going to hit them with the main and waste that right now. Because he's not going to kill those guys on that hit. But now we're in a position where we should be able to start taking them out. And that'll make a difference. Soften him up one more time so that John can take him out in a single blow. Perfect. And that means we're going to have that special ability ready to go next time. Take him out again. Perfect. And let's soften up this guy so that John can take him out. Beautiful. And that, my friends, is Story Battle 2. Alright, so moving here to Story Level 3. Let's take a look. I suspect we're going to be in another position where we have guys with no abilities again. Though this time we have Horsemen, 350 HP. Yeah, got that information thing is tiny, and I have... Big fingers, apparently, guys. Sorry about that. Alright, so... No abilities on our guys. Let's take a glance at their horsemen. Still no abilities. 340 HP. These guys don't look too bad. Ah, but what's the spearman doing here? Or shieldman, rather. Oh, still nothing, but he does have... Well, still 340 HP. I can't imagine these guys should be too bad. It looks like our John's at the same level he's been in the last couple of encounters. Uh, we'll see how tricky this is, I guess. Um, aside from the fact that that Shieldsman is likely to have decent defense, so I suspect he's going to be a bit difficult to take out. So we are actually going to want to focus on these horsemen first, I think, just so he's not getting it from all sides. I'm not going to let him engage right away. I feel like that's going to be a losing proposition. Let's let him go once his special is charged and the enemies are softened up a little bit. Ah, shoot. In hindsight, I should have moved that horse around so he could get to him. Uh, that's all right. We'll just take this guy out. Oh, he wasn't as bad as I thought he would be. 
That's rather nice. Alright, so that super low HP horse is going to die on the counter attack. And that means really all we have to do is have John focus on this guy. We're going to soften him up a little bit. And then John will be able to take him out on the counter attack. Really not a lot to it. I think even level 1 might have been a bit more challenging than that one. Alright, so as we move into story battle number 4 here... I'm not going to lie, I've actually been a little disappointed in these ones so far. Um, they've been just stupid easy. I really hope they give us a bit more of a challenge on these last two. Um, but let's again take a look at what we're working with here. We've got a couple of fighters, no abilities to speak of. Ver um, John's still at level 1 with 500 HP. Versus 3 horsemen, 300 HP, no abilities and a single great sword Bolton officer, pretty equal HP to John, but no abilities. Uh, our guys are starting off at the back here, so I'm thinking we're going to want to start by making the enemy come to us a little bit. Those horses are going to be super maneuverable. Uh, actually, no, you know what, we're going to move our guys up just a little bit, just outside the danger zone, but not actually doing much of anything. And let's see what happens. Hopefully we can take out these horsemen before uh, that great sword gets in here. So looking at this carefully, we're going to hit these guys right here. John's then coming swinging with his big sword. Doubt it's going to take him out in a single blow, but should hope. Oh, look at that did better than I expected it to. So he's actually going to have a special ability ready to go up against um, these guys here. I'm not going to bring him into play with the great sword just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to soften up this guy. Counterattack's going to kill my fighter. Oh, man, I'm off on my estimates. All right, well, good. That means John can take him out pretty easily and have his special ready for that great sword when they meet shortly and i think we ought to be able to use these two fighters to either occupy or if we're very lucky kill that last horseman there now you know what he's that that fighter is not gonna last i'm gonna move john in to finish off that horse soon as we have a chance i want him entirely out before i face that great sword since they look like they're gonna be on even footing aside from the lack of a special So we're going to finish off that horse, get that special ability charged up, and since we're still out of the distance of our great sword here, it means John can go in and hit him right off the bat with the special before he ever gets a swing in, meaning our victory is basically guaranteed here. There we are, not too shabby. Alright, so as we move into story number five, I'm actually happy to say that this one was a little bit more challenging than the last ones. Um, still nothing crazy, uh, but it did take me a couple of practice runs uh, before I was able to get it here, um, which as you can see, I, for the first time here, I actually had to beat it before going in ever since battle one. Um, so, but that being said, it's still not terribly difficult, but it is a bit more fun to play around with, particularly because as you can see by looking at our shieldsman here, we finally have Jon Snow's ability, or, or rather the King of the North's um, abilities coming into play here with the extra damage boost and the extra maneuverability. Um, if I, I didn't point it out in the last um, couple of runs, but uh, you may have noticed yourself that those weren't actually taking effect in battles one through four of story mode. Um, these enemies still don't have any abilities to speak of, um, so this is just a straight matter of us being um, outnumbered two to one. Now, that being said, you're going to notice that uh, we've got that bowman here. He's going to be the biggest threat. Um, he can hit us from a distance, do a bit of damage. Um, so we've got to maneuver our units out of the way.
And the idea behind doing this is it's going to allow us to take out these weaker units first so that we can't get ganged up on at the end. We're going to let Jon Snow very quickly... Oh, why is he not letting me use his special ability there? That's weird. Ah, I was selecting the wrong unit. Um, okay, so we're going to let John take out that fighter real quick here. We'll get our shieldsmen softening up that horseman. You're going to see these other units come around. Oh, I must have done slight, something slightly different from my first battle, but I think it should still work out fine. Shieldsman takes out the horse, allowing us to bring Jon Snow in with his special to take out that great sword or close enough to it as to not matter because he's going to get it on the counter. And all we are left to do is deal with the bowman. And what we're going to do is we're not really going to hit him too hard here with our shieldsman. We're just mainly keeping him there to run interference so that he doesn't take out Jon Snow. And as you can see, we've already run it. I could take him out with the shieldsman alone. I'm not going to do that just because, hey, what's the point in having a hero if you don't use him? And that's it, guys. That is Battle 5, all of the story modes in one. Um, hope you enjoyed it um, and that it was at least a little bit helpful to you. Um, certainly was not as hard as the Danny challenges. Um, but still, if any of you are stuck on it, I'm, gl I I'm hopeful this was a bit helpful to you. Uh, I will look into perhaps doing the easy, normal, and hard challenges. Um, it's going to be questionable how useful those will be unless you happen to be near uh, my current level of difficulty, but I will certainly look into doing that for you as the opportunity arises. Um, this is Valen for Valen Games. Don't forget to like and subscribe.